and Joey and Chloe. I got us a case. What do you want me to do? Professor Tester Lowenstein, what can you tell me about mason jars? And then this happened. Christophe says good readings to bad rubbish. Ladies and Christoph, we at the Break It Fresh Challenge are really sorry to have to do this to you. It seems that one of our judges last week was involved in a microwave accident that burned off all of her taste buds. So this, of course, brings the original judging into question. Uh, I know this is a bit unorthodox, but we at Bacon Fresh pride ourselves in fairness. Do you really think this is going to work? Of course it's going to work. Anthropologically speaking, once a person establishes their position within a tribe, they will fight violently if necessary to maintain that position. I have no idea what that means. Uh, okay, um... First place cookies, second place fruity thing, um, brownies trash. Trash? What the hell do you mean trash? <laughs> I'll show you some trash. This is trash. Some secret ingredients. I'm a winner. That is what I do. I win. <laughs> Don't move, lady. You're caught red-handed. Okay, calm down. Calm down. All right, now where is the secret ingredient? That's, that's just an empty jar. What the hell is the secret ingredient? Love, of course. The love of five generations of my family. It's priceless. I'm not arresting anybody over an empty-ass jar. Excuse me, officer, if I may. Glass jars were a very popular method of preservation, food preservation, in the 19th century. Mason jars were first produced in 1858. Jar within her family for five generations, so it's easy to extrapolate that it's at least jar in that condition and that age can easily go up for auction for $30,000. Oh! <laughs> That's a violation of California Penal Code 487. It's grand theft. Damn, Damn it. <sighs> <sighs> Guys at the station are never going to let me live this one down. Damn empty jar. <laughs> you saved my love. But why? I, I thought you hated me. Christoph would do anything for you. You are the raven haired temptress that haunts Christoph's dream. Ew. Oh, thank you both. How do I ever repay you? I just wish you would have told her that it was okay to pay us in actual money. Hey, hey, hey. A lifetime supply of cupcakes is worth its weight in gold. Oh, <laughs>